time to kind of decompress from last night and get your thoughts together as you prepare for to play for a championship on Sunday? Uh, didn't sleep much last night. Uh, I just think when you go through the season and you get to the game that you know is going to be the game that propels you beyond or uh, at least you have an opportunity to play for a championship, I, I think the reality of that hits. And so I watched our game, then I watched the Kennesaw Lipscomb game, and then I watched our game again from uh, two weeks ago with Kennesaw. So I had some adrenaline, didn't sleep great, but just really grateful because, man, our guys, our guys, they just responded. They kept making the next right play. And when things didn't go our way, I didn't, I don't think you saw them panic. So, yeah, it's, it's something that uh, I think has, that has uh, made me even more uh, appreciative of the group that we have and the opportunity that's in front of us. And the two intense games you guys had to play um, in the tournament so far, how much do you think, you know, they weren't easy by any means. How do you think those, you know, how, ba how battle-tested are you guys for a game that's probably going to be a good one in Kennesaw? Yeah, Annie, I hope it's a good one. I, I think the fact that it, our guys have been in some games in postseason and they know the reality of how uh, adverse it can be, how much pressure it could be presented, as well as the the intensity and the physicality of the game. Because, you know, for a lot of teams, it's – it's a little sense of desperation. If we lose, we're finished. And the finality of that, I think, uh, enhances the uh, the atmosphere in the room. So, again, I, I thought we were we were a little battle tested because of our non conference schedule and how hard the A Sun was to go through this year. And uh, I think, uh, but Eastern Kentucky was too. So I, I think we just made enough plays uh, to come with come out with the win. Today, March the 3rd or 4th? 3rd? And your last day is the 5th? Yes. I think I'll wait and answer that question after uh, the 5th. Now, I, uh, uh, Dame, fair question. Now, I, I think it's, uh, it's delusional to compare teams because you're, you're not just comparing the teams. You can't control the schedule you play, the – the strength of the conference that you play in. And, you know, for for me, what's important to me is the kind of people that we have in that locker room. And I've loved every one of my years here. Some were more challenging than, than others. Um, but I do think you've seen a trajectory of improvement in our guys from an individual uh, and collective standpoint. Uh, and, and, and that's how I will – judge the success of our group. I, I think I think it's the best team ever in terms of culture. Like these dudes are but but I, I think that was uh the group that preceded them laid a foundation and set a standard that this group has continued to to build upon. So I, I'll leave that to the fans and the media about which team and that team and who's the best this and who's the best that. Um, it'd be like, like, okay, who's my favorite child? I, I mean, Ellie would say Ellie. G would say, well, G would say Ellie. Anyway, I, I, uh, you, you love them all the same, and uh, I'm proud of them. I, I'm proud of this team and the teams that have gone before them. And this group, look, I've been around them enough. We, we'll have a chance to beat anybody that is left on our schedule. And because we approach it with a sense of humility that we know we can get beat by anyone. And I think 
I think that maturity in itself is a reflection of the kind of young men we have. And you mentioned that you were watching. You spoke about how tough the schedule was this year. Your three league losses, all three of those teams are in the conference semifinals. Um, but three of the, or two of the four teams lost in non-conference, won their regular season title. Northwestern is currently tied for second, if I'm not mistaken, in the Big Ten. Uh, oh, sorry, seven minutes. Yeah, so four conference champions, if you include Kennesaw. And uh, uh, I, I think our losses are to teams that were really good, and that's why some of the metrics look like they do. I actually saw Lenardi had us also considered the other day, which is uh, – I was, I was a little frustrated by that. I called one of my coaching buddies. He said, uh, which is the last Liberty team that was ever mentioned to be on the bubble? Or all? And I said – duly noted, and uh, I, I regained some perspective there. Uh, but I do think we're prepared. I think Kennesaw is prepared, too. It's a 40-minute game. If it doesn't go in overtime, that, you know, uh, there will be some plays that we remember that we will think have a direct impact on the outcome. Um, and, and again, I think for our group, it's just having the mindset of trying to be as consistent as we can. I, I don't want to give you coach speak, but we we don't change a whole lot in our game plan. We, like, what we've done on a regular basis is, I think, and our guys' ownership in that and their coachability is why we're in this space. So uh, I hope it's a good game for the fans, um, and, and I hope I hope we play well because uh, it's a it's a neat stage to be on. Annie had a question, guys. You mentioned that you were watching Kennesaw Lipscomb last night. Terrell Vernon, Brandon Stroud had big games. What challenges do those guards present to you? Well, they all have – they. They've got six guys that can score the ball, and uh, maybe even seven. Um, and and they, like us, I think they play to the hot hand. Uh, Brandon's a terrific player. He's defensive player of the year, but he's he's a much improved offensive player as well. Um, Chris Youngblood, who's a beast of a guard, uh, started out slow, hit a huge three at the end of the game. Um, but we, 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 he had a couple of big threes against us. We were, we're well aware of his talent. Spencer Rogers, uh, Jennings, um, uh, Terrell Burden puts so much pressure on the defense. They, they just they have a complete team that really flourishes in the system. And Amir does a great job of trying to pick on certain things. So uh, challenges presented. But that's been the case for us in – a lot of different situations. So I, I think, as I mentioned today, and we're, I think we're prepared for it. This time of year, uh, experience is, you know, at the top of everyone's mind. Kennesaw obviously got a lot of experience with, you know, a core that's been around for three or four years, and, and you've got some guys that have been around for a while and play on the big stage. And how much do you think that can play an impact in Sunday's game and also the experience that your team had just you know, about two, two weeks ago or so playing at the same place in a hot cell environment? Yeah. This will be game 34, if you include Georgetown and Virginia Tech scrimmages, game 36. Like, our guys know what to do, and so do theirs. Um, when you have a guy like Kyle Rode, who's such an incredible leader, uh, I, I think I, I think there's a sense of calm that will be presented in, uh, in, the, in the blue jerseys. Um, but, again, Blake, Shiloh, Darius, they've all been there as well. And... Uh, but as I alluded to, Kennesaw has got even more experience than us. So really, I think what it comes down to is, uh, you know, who's able to influence the game with the way they play for the majority of the game. And uh, but, but again, just privileged to have this opportunity and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, well, we think we have a chance to get a win any night, Eddie. Um, we post game cleanup every one of our games after the Kennesaw game. 
Uh, we turned it over late. Um, we, we, we had a couple of defensive uh, – we, we erred on a couple of def defensive assignments. And, uh, and they made plays. Again, I think, I think when you root for a certain team or you're on the sideline of a certain team, uh, you, you have a, uh, there's a propensity to uh, be frustrated with what you didn't do or what you're not. But you got to remember, there's other good teams out there too. And, uh, and Kennesaw did a great job down the stretch. I think their crowd catapulted them in the, towards the end. Uh, and it was a tough environment. But uh, I, I think the biggest takeaway, Eddie, is we've, we've been there. We've seen it. Um, we've played a few games like this over the course of our time here. And uh, looking forward again to the opportunity. Aaron, you got anything? Uh, Shiloh, Blake, Joseph, Isaiah, Brody, uh, Colin, Zach, uh, the, the other guys that play, uh, we, we need them all. You know, our, the uh, unheralded group that we refer to as our scout team or uh, Red Machine, Green Mountain, I don't even know what we call them, but they've done a great job in our preparation for teams. So I, I hear, I hear some guys call it 25 strong or 24 strong. Look, uh, we're a family, and uh, we need we need them out. We need everyone. Um, and Darius, Darius is Darius. So, will he get 43? I don't know. He could, uh, but he might only score 20. And uh, but I still think if we play the right way, we'll have a chance.